Epping via Central. Central. And then over here, you can see the Harbour Bridge. Look. And you can see the train going under the Harbour Bridge now. It's so beautiful. So I'm going to take you over the Harbour Bridge. Let's go. And then So this is the start of the Harbour Bridge walk. Probably haven't done this walk for about three years. When I first came to Sydney, I explored all of Sydney and I, I didn't have a car at that stage. So um, I was pretty much just walking everywhere. And obviously I did most of the iconic things when I first moved here. And um, since then, I don't think I've just done it again. I've never really been a tourist in my own city before after that. So um, I might take you guys around to some iconic places this morning just because I haven't done it in a really long time and it's so beautiful. I should do this more often. <laughs> There's the Opera House and this is the start of the city and if you can see down there in Circular Quay it's where all the ferries leave and you can see the ferries going back and forth. So if we are here, do I want to just go straight across to the rocks? Hmm, I might just go straight across to the rocks and I think I'm going to go to this cafe over here. Mm. Alright, so I've still got about an hour and a half until the shop's open, so I'm still <laughs> way too early to be here. So I might just walk around um, to the Opera House, sit down on the stairs, enjoy the sun. So there's the Opera House. It's actually massive. The Opera House, Harbour Bridge, and the city. So I've just Googled what time the shops open. And they actually don't open until 10, so I'm now two hours early. And I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do for the next two hours because I've already killed an hour by walking around the Harbour Bridge and the Opera House. Oh, so our pit strip mall. Oh. So these are just a bunch of journals that like prompt you how to journal and they all just give you prompts and ideas. And I really like all three and I want to choose one but they can't. They're all so good. So that's what I'm deciding now. So I'm at the Westfields on Pitt Street Mall and oh my god look how cute these little shoppers. I love that ones. So these are the selections. I don't know what to get. But look at this gold chocolate one I'll show you down here. Yum. Look at this gold one here. It is amazing. $57.8. Yum, 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 yum.
you guys um i hope you don't mind so i've just come back from the shops and i nearly fell asleep on the bus trip home and then when i got home um i looked in my handbag i'm like oh no dan drove my car this morning so he has my house keys so then i had to break into my own house so we'll start off with muji because I'm, I'm loving these um envelopes so they're like they're not quite craft paper they sort of are i guess but Muji has like this really minimalistic style. Um, so what I got from Muji, Muji is this letter paper um, writing pad. So it's this really beautiful um, pad. And I really like it because it's just very minimalistic and plain. Um, and obviously these envelopes are just nice and plain. And I'm going to do really minimalistic um, design on these. Like I might just do a simple sticker on the top. Or I might just do a tiny bit of washy little design. And then I also got these long envelopes which I really like. Also it's the same really nice paper and it's just really plain paper. So that's what I got from, um, what did I say I got that from? Mo Muji? Pronouncing that right, right, aren't I? Yeah, Muji. And then from um, the Japanese bookshop, I also got this Hello Sandwich Tokyo Guide. And um, I just really loved it because um, I've seen the girl who made this book in, I think it was in a Frankie magazine or it might have just been on an online blog. But I've seen her, I think it's called Hello Tokyo. And um, she makes, she's got this book where it's like all about crafts um, inspired by Japanese um, Japanese stationery, I guess and I'll just open this up and what I liked about this Tokyo Guide uh, opposed to the other ones I saw uh, was firstly it was just really beautifully laid out so visually it's beautiful um, I love this like mint color and I love this picture on the front and um, Throughout it, she's got a lot of stationery stores. Like she's included Daiso and um, Muji, but she's also included ones I've never even heard of. And I just really love this book. So yeah, just really beautiful laid out. Um, and I really like her choice of um, places to go and what to see and where to eat. So um, when I do my um, stationery come shopping with me in Japan vlog, um, similar to this one, but in Japan, I'm probably going to be following this guide, so the Hello Sandwich guide. So I'll let you know um, what I think about it, but yeah, I'm really liking that and I'm so happy I got that. Um, now, I'll just try to open this one. Sorry about this, I should have opened this before I turned the camera on. Oh, I, I was like contemplating, like, do I need this? And then I was like, 100% I do. So I don't know if I'm going to use this as my travel journal yet or just my normal journal just because um, I've recently got into journaling and um, I want to have like a day to day planner and as you can see in my vlog earlier on I showed a few different journaling books that like prompt you in um, to be more creative and just shows you things how to just get basically um, pen on paper and just start writing in lots of different ways and there's just lots of different journaling prompts and um, I kind of wanted to do my own because I don't really like following um, like instructions um, but I found this one and I love this colour so much when you open it up you can see that it's got lots of different um, pages that are all different so there's like some are green pages some are like gridded pages and then throughout the book they've got these little envelopes embedded inside because I'm pretty sure this is meant to be a travel journal so you can collect things along the way 
So I think I'm going to turn this into like my everyday bullet journal and I've never made a bullet journal before but I thought this would be perfect because it does have the blank pages, it does have little things throughout like little pictures and it does have the different colour pages and um, different lined pages as well. So I'll just do a little flip through. So it's even got like writing pages and I think it'd be really nice to um, make this into a bullet journal. Or even like a life journal, like I've seen, I think it's Sassy Avery, I think her name is. Um, I'll put her channel in the description box below because I've started watching her because she's a really good um, journaler, journal YouTuber, YouTube journal, uh, she's got a YouTube channel and she does journaling videos. <laughs> and um, she's made a life journal and basically it's things like your um, bucket list and your favourite quotes and like your future goals and stuff. Which um, I really like. So I think I'm going to combine sort of bullet journaling style and like her version of a life journal. And I might pop it in this book and I'll do a flip through once it's finished. So love that so much. It's, I don't actually know what the, um, what the brand is. It just says made in Korea and it says pink travel journal. And then on the back in really small writing it says oh check design. So yeah, it's from the Dimmick Stationery, so I'll definitely link all these um, shops in my description box below. And then lastly, oh, these I also got from Dimmick's as well, and they're the Uni Jet Stream 101 0.7 pens, and one's in black and one's in blue. Um, I went through the whole pen range, and these are the two that just kind of felt nice in my hand and wrote really nicely for me. Um, I know everyone has their own preferences and styles and I really don't know anything about pens. I literally just picked every single one up and wrote with them and these are the ones that I really liked. So the last shot I went to was Daiso again um, and I didn't do like a massive haul just because I've already done one before and if you want to see that video I'll put like a little card maybe above my head or I'll just put my um, Daiso haul in the description box below and basically what I wanted to pick up was some Japanese themed designed um, origami paper because I am going to be making my travel journal soon for Japan and I wanted to use some beautiful prints throughout um, and I also wanted to just um, design with these because they're so beautiful and I saw them last time and um, I needed to get them for my travel journal that I'll be making soon and then these, I've used so many of the um, pastel coloured paper, except they didn't have like the white, like flaked ones. These ones have colourful flakes, but they're still just beautiful pastel colours, so I love them as well. Alright, my battery died, so I'm back. Um, now, I just finished off saying that I got these two from Daiso, just the pastel um, origami papers and also the Japanese themed um, papers. And that was my little haul for today. Um, but then after I came back from shopping, I headed to my post office because I got an alert on my email saying, you've got mail and I'm so excited. Um, and I literally have just been to the post office about three days ago. So I was not expecting, oh, it all fell down. I was not expecting to receive like all these letters. Like, oh my God, look how many there are. There's like, how many did I get? I got... One, two, three, four, five, six, and this big back of seven. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to be opening any of these on camera today because I am making a collection for my next P.O. Box opening. So this is sort of like a little sneak peek to my next P.O. Box opening video. But yes, I've got this pile and then I've got like another little pile in my basket, my basket, um, where I'm just keeping all the mail that I'm going to open on camera because I know you guys love seeing um, pair box openings and I love making them and also watching other people's pair box openings so I'm going to hopefully try to do that once a month. <sighs> I've been talking so much. Um, so I'm probably going to end the video here. Um, so thank you all for watching this vlog. Do let me know if you're liking my vlogs. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye!